Hey guys, we thought we would do a quick little unboxing for you. I know everybody likes to do those. So we've got some new products from Audio Control we're gonna check out. So let's open it up and see what we got going in there. All right, these are their new Pacific Northwest series of speakers. We have their six and a half co component sets. <laughs> their six banan component sets, which I'm excited about. And the six and a half coax, which these are a point source, so we can talk about those here. This is the six and a half, which they're calling a coax, but technically it's really more of a point source. So we have our templates and a basic manual, some nice full coverage grills. Grills are always nice, but quite honestly, 98% of the time these are gonna get thrown in the trash. Uh, nice bag of hardware, really good packaging, and some fancy speakers. These have some weight to them too. These are actually probably gonna go in Austin's car, so he can play with the one too. All right, so yeah, I mean, these are substantial. So yes, it's a coax, meaning it's a woofer and a tweeter, and they're sharing the same center axis. That's what that means. But this is what's really referred to as a point source. And what that means is that the tweeter is inside the voice coil of the cone of the woofer. And so it's, it's aligning the frequency, so there's gonna be less delay and interference issues as the woofer is moving and transitioning instead of the tweeter being further forward. But what that also means is we don't have a tweeter sticking way out. So uh, we do a bunch of rams, as everybody knows. So that's a big plus for us because these magnets are pretty huge and I'm worried about these becoming a clearance issue. Um, but because the surround is an accordion, meaning it's not sticking up from the, the, the grill or from the frame, uh, this means we're gonna be allowed to push this out from the door a little bit and get it closer to the door panel. Uh, so that's gonna help us with limitations and so is that uh, tweeter not sticking out. But this has some weight. That probably weighs a good two pounds. I mean, it, it's bigger magnet. I know it's a broad generalization, so don't quote me on it. Bigger magnet typically means it's gonna be very mid-base heavy, and they're doing that to compensate for the, uh, for the way that the electronics and suspension are set up. Um, but that's also gonna help with power handling. And on the box, it has all the different specs for you. So RMS ideally is gonna be about 75 watts. It says 100 watt max. And what that max means is that's still RMS max, meaning if you're beating the heck out of it, but if you're using an audio control amplifier, all of their amplifiers have distortion indicators on it. So if you're running 100 watts clean to these, I bet you that they're gonna take it and they're gonna be very happy with it. Cause this is not some chump little speaker. This has some, some heft to it. All right, let's check out the component set. So a component set is a separate woofer and tweeter, and the crossovers are gonna split up the frequencies. Oh, yeah, it is heat shrink. These are labeled for, yeah, these are labeled for the crossovers. So I guess after you get the crossovers situated, you probably put that over them so you can help with, uh, with moisture. I bet you the manual specifies and talks about that. So we removed the first tray, we got a second tray. So we have our tweeters, some nice aluminum housings. They look to be about a one inch tweeter. Yeah, it says one inch tweeter. These are a three ohm set. I forgot to mention that the, uh, the six and a halfs are also a three ohm speaker. That's just gonna get you a little bit more power out of the amplifier. So if it's a 50 watt amp at four ohm, at two ohm, it may be a hundred watt. Well, at three ohm, it's probably gonna be about 75 watts. So that's just the rough kind of Ohm's law math. You, so you, say, say Dodge Ram. If it has a Harman Kardon system in it, the factory speakers are a four ohm speaker. So if you take them out and you put in a more efficient and a three ohm speaker, you're gonna get more power from the factory amplifier. It's gonna give you a little bit more output. So with these, we have some nice looking aluminum housings with the tweeters. And then we have, what I like about these is we have separate crossovers for the woofer and for the tweeter. So what this is allowing us to do is we can put each crossover at the dash speaker and in the door instead of having to zigzag wires back and forth to get to one crossover. So say you put your woofer in your door with your crossover in the door on a traditional component set, you're gonna have to run wires out of the door up to your tweeter. So it just really complicates things. We like running speakers that have separate crossovers for woofer and tweeter. It does add to the cost a little bit because you're now paying for more components, but it makes the installation a lot more flexible. So with this, this is a low pass for the crossover for the woofer. What this means is it's gonna, it's gonna block. block the highs off of the woofer just to make it run a little bit more efficiently. 
and then it also gives you another output so you can run it over to your other crossover so you have in woofer out and then another output so you can run it to your input here and then your output to your tweeter and then it's giving you uh, tweeter adjustability so this is giving you tweeter levels so you can turn the tweeter up and down from either zero to negative three or negative six decibels. So it gives you three different options on tweeter volume. So you can try to blend, make them blend a little bit better before you start messing with EQ. Um, in our, our experience, typically, if this tweeter is being mounted down low, then you probably want it at zero. If you're bouncing it up off the dash like a Dodge pickup, you're probably gonna want it at negative three or negative six, because that tweet lashing off the uh, windshield is gonna typically amplify what's being played off of it. So let's pull off and go another layer. So same woofer as what's in the coax, but where the tweeter would normally be, now you have a clear cap and you see the AC logo down on the pole piece of the magnet. So that's just a, it's just a cosmetic piece. It's not gonna do anything for the sound. Still heavy little speaker and still a three ohm woofer, so that's gonna be good. All right, All right so six banan components, same game, grills, heat shrink, then a big tray full of crossovers, same big heavy six banan, or same magnet. I think good with that it doesn't look that deep, but the magnet is just big. So hopefully these are gonna fit where we want them to. They look very well finished. They look very nice. So if they're putting this much effort into the, the, the design and the packaging, I would hope they put that much effort into the performance. So whenever we get to install these, we'll take a look and uh, hopefully we can do an installation and review on them. So, so that's it guys. Uh, I would say check them out. These are definitely going to be worth checking and looking at. Um, they're not entry-level speakers, but they're also not just crazy high expensive speakers. This is a good solid upgrade. This is something that you can, if you like audio control, the air amps are going to be really good pairings with it, especially if you're using their DSP amps. Um, these have some substance to them, so I bet they're good sounding speakers to begin with, but the DSP is just going to give you more control for getting it all tuned in and dialed in like you want it to be. Uh, we can either make an audio package with you so we can try something in your Dodge Ram for you, uh, or you can check them out on their website and they have all their different specs and information. And I'll list that down in the comments for you. So other than that, man, that's it. You know, hopefully that uh, gets you interested in some new lines. And I know that they have some other stuff that's coming out. Uh, I know they're supposed to be working on a entry level pat line, and I think they might also be working on an upper line package. And with these six by nines, it's really cool because they make a two and three quarter that go so you can make a um a three-way set so you can do a tweeter a mid and a woofer uh, and we're hoping we can do one of those hopefully in the future that's it hit like and subscribe and we'll give you more stuff like this and uh if there's anything else you have questions on just hit us down in the comments thank guys